What's up guys, Mr. Dan here, back again with another story time video. It's been a while. This is story time number four. The story time series basically are, these are short videos where I talk about a movie watching or movie viewing experience uh, from my youth or at least up until now, I suppose. Uh, that was memorable or unusual. And today I want to talk about an actor uh, that did not come up on the Night Watch Zone's uh, Brass Tacks episode about action stars of the 80s and 90s. That was a great episode. I couldn't watch it live. I did get caught up on it. But I'll tell you, this this guy, is. I thought he was pretty good. And maybe that's even an idea for a stream or a topic of conversation. Some of the under underground or lesser known action stars of those action heavy uh, times. Anyway, let me paint you a picture. Years ago, I had to get my wisdom teeth out, so which is never fun. And th there was a place right on Main Street. So I took a day off, did what I had to do. I had an early morning appointment, you know, got my wisdom teeth out, you know, I was knocked out, came to, uh, my dad dropped me off at the apartment. And when I had the consultation, the orthodontist had told me, he said, you know, you just want to go home after that and recuperate. And he even said, he actually said, get a couple movies to watch, but make sure they're nothing heavy. I'm shaking the table. You know, get a couple movies to watch, but nothing, nothing too heavy. You know, kind of brainless films are the best. And I was like, yep, I, I, I can do that. I, I, I can do that, sure. So I went to the video store, and I got not one, but not but two, Thomas Ian Griffith movies. Okay, Thomas Ian Griffith was in Karate Kid Part Three. He was really an evil sob in that movie. Even on a uh, James Rolfe on Cinemasker, he put him on a list of of villains. <laughs> he kind of threw it in there, like I don't know, like halfway as a joke, but maybe not all the way as a joke, because he really is like a, a bastard in that movie. Um, and he was actually a pretty good actor. You know, I, I sh he was on a... Uh, crap, battery saver. He was on a... Uh, you know, I'm flipping around in the old days before streaming. I had streaming out the, the streaming. Before I had lots of streaming. And um, he was on a Hallmark, one of those Hallmark movies. I was like, wow. He was a pretty good actor. And pretty good action star. So I had two... Thomas Ian e. Griffith VHS tapes. I came home, you know, my dad gets me in the ha in my apartment. I'm groggy. Um, for some reason, I don't know if we didn't have the main TV hooked up to a uh, VCR, but we had a TV VCR combo. I set up that up on the floor in my kid's room for some reason. Maybe it was already there. And I took just took a bunch of pillows and I put them on the floor. And I just like collapsed into these pillows and I watched not one but two Thomas Ian e. Griffith movies. Today's going to be a little something different because I don't know the titles. I'm going to look it up right now with you guys. Um, but they were each like 90 minutes long. They were each fun. One of them had Donald Sutherland and one of them had Tia Carrera, which is never a bad thing. It, that may have been the same movie. And one of them I know he's up against the mafia. Was Burt Young in one of them? I don't know. I don't remember. It might have been Burt Young. Uh, so I'm going to look them up right now, and eventually I'm going to rewatch both of these and make this like a second part to this one. Uh, but yeah, there I am, you know, just in, in ensconced in these pillows. I had two tea bags in my, my mouth, you know, to soak everything up. And I'll tell you, I've had worse days in my life because it was a school day. My kids were school. It was totally quiet. I, I fit in two movies. Somehow I, I went to the... I had my wisdom teeth out, came home, and watched two 90-minute movies before my kids got home. I was completely undisturbed. It was just, in that aspect, it was great. Kind of like when you used to have a sick day home from school and you got to watch all the TV shows. All right, let me look it up right now. Okay, there's a trailer for something called Time Cop, The Berlin Decision on here. So, and that looks like Jason Scott Lee. So... Uh, he was in Vampires. Now, that, that's cool. He was in Triple X. Okay, I didn't know that. Excessive Force, that was one of them. 
Karate Kid Part 3, known for Vampires Triple X, Karate Kid Part 3, and Excessive Force. That was one. I think that was like his main one. Yes. Um, but I've actually never seen John Carpenter's Vampires. There's like two or three uh, John Carpenter movies I haven't seen. This is probably going to be the best one. You know, because the other one, one of the other ones was like Ghost on Mars. God, he was in shows like One Tree Hill. Whoops, which I accidentally clicked on. I, like I'm saying, he was a pretty good actor. Come on, come on. Oh, 33 acting credits. I don't know why it's doing it like this. It's, he's born in 62, so he's a little bit up there now. I would love to see him show up in like the next Expendables movie, to be honest with you, if he's still up for it. Trained Taekwondo under Master Jun Chong. Trained in kickboxing, wrestling, and fencing. Okay. But let's get to the let's get to the movies though. Six foot five. He's a tall guy. New image films. Oh, there's the other one. Hollow point. Hollow point. Hollow point was the other one. Yep. Oh, this is Hollow Point. Okay, so it looks like Hollow Point had John Linscott. It looks like there's some comedic elements, too. I don't re really remember that. Um, I, I kind of remember him really beating some people down pretty harshly uh, in, in the other one. So that's Hollow Point. Action Comedy, 1996. Okay, my battery. Oh, you poopy. Yeah, okay. Hollow Point, Donald Sutherland, John Lithgow. Wow, okay, wow. No, I said Donald Sutherland before, but it also has John Lithgow. This is, this is a good cast. Donald Sutherland, John Lithgow, Thomas Ian Griffith, and Tia Carrera. Okay. All right, now let's look up Excessive Force. 1993. Hour and 27 minutes. Yeah, it's mob. Missing mob money and stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. Excessive force. Thomas Ian Griffith. I don't re I didn't remember this at all. But also James Earl Jones. Which I just I just got a uh, 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 the TV show Black Omnibus, which was hosted by James Earl Jones back in the day. And Lance Henriksen. Tony Todd? Oh, Burt Young. There you go. Burt Young is in this one. Okay. Wow. I'm going to have fun rewatching these. Just, I mean, they might not even be great. They might not be great. But I'm going to have so much fun rewatching these based on who's in it and just for the nostalgia's sake. And to be honest, I may, you know, even though they're not uh, highbrow movies, I, I was probably a little bit out of it when I watched it, when I watched them the first time. There you go. Yeah, there's the uh, the James Earl Jones show that I just got from Hamilton Books, the Black Omnibus. Looks like it's like an interview variety show, I think. At any rate, there I was, back in the day, back in the apartments, I guess early two thousands, with tea bags, in my mouth, half, out of it, watching two Thomas Ian Griffith movies. I've now recalled the names of them: Excessive Force and Hollow Point. It'll be great to go back and rewatch these. What a, what, a, what a great memory of a nice, quiet day watching whatever the heck I wanted to watch. So, yeah, I can't wait to rewatch these. All right, guys. Do you guys have any memories of watching any Thomas Ian Griffith movies? Do you know who he is? What did you guys watch when you had your wisdom teeth out? All right, let me know in the comments below. Later. Yeah, one more thing, guys. I, uh, I couldn't help myself. Despite that Hamilton Books haul that I just recently did, got myself an early holiday present. I got I just ordered both movies, Excessive Force and Hollow Point. Um, Excessive Force is on YouTube, but it's in French, uh, and they're not on Tubi. So uh, I just ordered the physical copies, and I got one additional item, which I think is, is pretty cool, and. Uh, I just, I just edited the video. There was an excessive use of the fade. 
lots of fade. So hopefully it wasn't too much for you guys. Okay, thanks a lot. Um, look for those reviews after I get the films and watch them. Okay, thanks a lot. Later.